And that's the most important secret when it comes to editing in DaVinci Resolve. Hey, you do know that you've been invisible this whole time, right? What? You've got to be kidding me. I thought I had cloak turned oh, off. Waste of time. Let me see if I can fix it. Look like a hologram. All right, let's see. get a picture of this. Hey, stop that. You know we can't leak any photos of this tech. Come Just on. Just go over there and see if I'm back Fine. so we can restart the whole video. Can't believe I was invisible the whole time. So I guess I'll start over with the super secret that I was sharing about DaVinci Resolve 20. In the new update, they released one of the coolest features for the studio version of DaVinci Resolve. And that is the AI Magic Mask tool. And it really is magic because you can do this. I mean, and that's pretty cool. You've probably seen cool effects like this in a ton of different videos. Text behind people, people being cut out, put on different screens, or just being outlined and the background being taken away. And you're probably thinking like, oh, that takes tons of like tracking and keyframing and masking. And you would be right. That's normally how you'd have to do something like that. But with this new AI tool, you can do it with just a couple of clicks and the software does the rest for you. And it's super easy to use. So let's talk about it. Okay, you can see here that I have a clip in DaVinci Resolve and I want to outline myself, cut myself out of the background. So we're gonna go to the color page because that's where this tool lives. Once we're here on the color page, we're going to just add a node and then we're going to right click and add alpha output. And we're gonna connect this little blue box to this little blue dot. That's basically just gonna remove that background once we have the person outlined. Then we're gonna come down here to AI Magic Mask, it's this little emblem right here. We're gonna click that and go ahead and select this icon right here, which is the toggle mask overlay button. This will just outline in red what you're selecting so that you can tell what you're doing. And once you're here, you'll see that it's already given you a little qualifier. You can just click on the person until it's kind of fully outlined. You can just make some little points there check to see if it got everything. If you need to remove some areas, you can just click the subtract button and we'll subtract that wall right there. And once you feel like you have a good selection, you're just going to click these two little arrows that say track forward and reverse. And then once that's done, you can just play it back and see how accurate it was. You know, sometimes it might have trouble with like some of those small hairs on the side, but for the most part, it's pretty accurate. So then we can turn our little mask overlay off and you'll see that it has completely cut me out of the background. You can also invert and you'll see what it's doing there. It's completely taking me away. And you can also adjust some of these parameters. So we can adjust the smoothing a little bit, denoise the, the edges a little. And we always wanna make sure that when we actually go to export, we put this on better instead of faster. This will give the edges, you can see it already updated that. It smooths the edges out and really makes it look a whole lot better. But just remember that once you change the quality, you will need to, you will need to have it retract. So we'll do that real quick. And now we can see that that's much more accurate and it looks a lot nicer. And that's how easy it is. Then once you've done that, the sky's the limit. So if we wanted to put text behind me, we could come back over to our timeline. We'll create some text over here. We'll just do a custom text box. We'll say magic. Make this bigger. And then I want that to be behind me. Boom, you just put your layer of you outlined above the text layer. And if we wanna bring back the whole room, we can actually duplicate that and put it below the text and make sure and take away the effect on that one. So this top one is just me outlined. This bottom one is the original clip. And then we have our text in between. And then sometimes you may have to go back and have it retrack. That way it can recalibrate based on the background and the text and all of that. But as you can see, that's how you layer them and you can have it play and it's pretty close. You can see there's a little bit of some ghosting and stuff going on right there. But for the most part, I mean, you could go back in and, you know, make some changes, add and subtract that mask until you got it how you wanted it. But still a super cool effect. And then you can still just adjust things. You can adjust the size of that text. You could move it around. 
Or I could put a totally different background back there. I could remove this background and put this crazy star background so that it looks like I'm somewhere completely different. I could take the text away. I could put in this other studio. So from there, you could do whatever you wanted to with it. You could also use this as a trick to make your background blurrier. So if we go back to just our regular background here, we just remove this text for right now. I can take my background layer now, and I'm just gonna add Gaussian blur to this bottom layer. And boom, it looks like you used a shallower depth of field than you actually did. So that's just another effect that you can do. And to do that disappearing effect, like I showed at the beginning, it's close to the same process, but that bottom layer, instead of it being like the original clip that you cut the person out of, it needs to be a clean shot of the room. So you would film a clip of the room, you know, blank with nothing in it. Then you could film, you know, the clip of the person, cut them out, and then you'll be able to make it look like they completely disappear because that background doesn't include them. And it's really important to note that this is called AI Magic Mask for a reason, because it might struggle with difficult scenarios or if you have a really busy background, it may not be perfect. But this is just an awesome time-saving tool for quick little cutouts where you don't have to do all the rotoscoping and masking and keyframing and tracking and all of the difficult work that you would do most of the time. That's why this is just a quick little magic tool because what it can do is awesome, but it's not perfect. It's mainly for simple shots. You could even see it didn't do great on my little hair, you know, that's to the side of my face. It might struggle with little inconsistencies like that or if the background was almost the same color as the person or if they blended in or something like that. But in general, it's a really cool way that you could add in, like if you're making YouTube videos, you could just quickly take one section mask yourself out and put text behind it. And that's going to be good enough for most use case scenarios. Anyway, I wanted to make this quick little tutorial because I discovered this and thought it was the coolest thing ever. And I figured that you might find some value and be able to actually use this in some of your videos too. The possibilities are endless. I used this in one of my intros the other day and thought it was really cool. You can add objects into the frame and make it look like your hand appears and disappears behind that object. There's so many opportunities for some really cool creative video ideas. Anyway, if you like this video, be sure to check out my DaVinci Resolve playlist right over here.